Good morning. Coffee with Rob. It's raining up here in Kentucky. It uh, just had some questions about baptism because I mentioned it yesterday in my other video. And I think uh, one of the things that comes up is baptism is essential. And I think that's a dangerous word because it leads to a lot of confusion. And I've seen the issue of baptism cause more arguments and fights actually which blows my mind but i've seen the, the issue of baptism so let's just say we talked about getting saved yesterday believing in the lord jesus christ there's, there's two dangers that i see in preaching specifically on the issue of baptism and the other one is on god's unconditional love if you say god loves you unconditionally that's that's a dangerous statement because then people hear oh if he loves me unconditionally he loves me just as I am, so I don't need to make any changes. I don't need to do anything. I just need to be the great and the best me I can possibly be. And God loves me unconditionally, so I'm going to heaven anyway. Well, that's that's a mis that's that's dangerous because what about the cross? What about repentance? What about confession? What about living a Christian life? And the same thing with baptism. The danger with saying that baptism is essential is that. Uh, people think if they get baptized that's it they're done they they've got the retirement plan they've given their life to christ by getting baptized when the danger you run into there is the same thing as being loved quote unquote unconditionally and that is uh when you get baptized you're saved well what if i got baptized because all my friends got baptized at vb at, at vacation bible school excuse me what if there was a free gift on Sunday morning for everybody that got baptized and I did it for that reason? What if I did it without knowing it because it was the thing to do? I think baptism would be better preached as part of the process of salvation, for example. Um, basically, I believe in Jesus Christ. I confess Him as Lord and Savior. I mean, I'm saved by grace through faith. Don't get me wrong, but there are some things you have to do. Uh, and that's, you know, confessing Lord is, uh, Jesus as Lord and Savior. Repenting. This is another one. This is another one. Repenting of your sins. Uh, that is going, you know, driving a car down the road. What is repentance? It's turning the other direction 180 degrees. I had all these plans. I'm driving my car down the road. I pull over. I see Jesus on the side of the road. And I'm like, you know what, Jesus? I'm going to give you my life. What does he do? He gets in the driver's seat. And he turns the car 180 degrees around. You start heading the other direction. And he's in charge. That's repentance. Just, um, you know, again, repentance is just changing your life 180 degrees. Going uh, normally, we're going away from the cross. We're now we're going towards the cross. And then, so, and then you get baptized to show the world. Uh, number one, I'm in perfect agreement with Jesus Christ. He was baptized. Everybody else in the, in the Bible that was uh, during the church age was baptized. Uh, and Simon is one of the people, if you read in Acts, and I should have got my Bible out for that, but he got baptized, but then he wanted, thought he could buy the Holy Spirit with money. So you know, that's another, another thing. But I'm just saying, be careful with the word essential when it comes to baptism, because I think being hung up and being known for baptism at your church more than you're known for bringing people to Jesus Christ or having an impact on your community is not a good testimony for your church. I mean, um, so the only thing that's essential for the salvation of the unbeliever or for the person or the sinner that wants to get saved or for the Christian, the only thing that's absolutely essential is the, the blood and cross of Jesus Christ. Without either one of those, you've got nothing. So... You know, I'm sure this will cause an argument. It always does. Do I believe we should be baptized 100%? Should every believer be baptized? Absolutely, because Jesus was, and so were his disciples. The Bible says, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. But the only thing that's absolutely essential. So, anyway, baptism is part of the process. Confess, believe, repent. Uh, once you're, you're saved, walk with Christ for the rest of your life. You know, it's not works related. It's grace and faith related. But the only thing that's essential is the cross and blood of Christ. And uh, we let Jesus do the rest. So anyway, that's my thoughts on that because that, that came up. Baptism is part of the process. Essential is a very strong and dangerous word because how do you know the people that got into the baptismal had their hearts right with Jesus Christ before they got baptized? Because then everybody's going to think they're saved just because they got baptized. And I think you've got to preach that properly. 
or a lot of people are going to have a false sense of salvation. We got to be careful. So anyway, have a great day. See you tomorrow.